Hello, my name is Ana Maria Scarlett and I'm a data analyst at BT Provider. In this video, I will show you another method from Enchantment Table series, and that is how to add a sparkline. Sparklines can be used to show monthly patterns and highlight the minimum and maximum value of a measure. The first thing we need to do is to create a new sheet, then add subcategory to rows and order date to columns and change it to month continuous. Next thing to do is to create a calculated field name lines with the formula zn lookup of sum sales and zero, then click OK. Add the newly created field to rows and then create another calculated field named uh, dots with a formula if zn lookup of sum sales n0 equals window max of zn lookup sum of sales and zero or zn lookup of sum sales and zero equals window mean of zn lookup sum of sales and zero then zn lookup sum of sales and zero and then click OK and add this one to rows, then create dual axis and also synchronize those axes. To add different color to the dots, we will create another calculated field named sales top bottom color with a formula if zn of lookup sum sales and zero equals window max of zn lookup sum of sales and zero then top else if zn lookup of uh, sum sales in zero equals window mean of um, zn lookup of sales of sum of sales and zero then bottom and end and then click OK and add a calculated field to color for dots. Now you can select a different color for each dot. I will uh, change the top to a blue and the bottom to a pink. Then click OK. I will also change the colorful lines and uh, make it gray and make the dots a bit bigger. Maybe like this. Next I will remove the headers and the axis. Remove the sign, the indicator, and then 
go to my dashboard I previously created a table with the first part where I have subcategory and revenue and uh, the second part with margin and percent of margin and in between those I will add my sheet with uh, the spark line and I will also remove the typo uh, we can also remove uh, remove the um, divider, column divider, and also the zero lines. And remove the legends also. Those were the steps for adding a spark light to a table. Thank you for watching.